Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to switch to Japanese language. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to Windows settings and then go to time and language and then go to language and region. Now over here, you can see country or region. Over here, you can select Japan. Now over here, you can see regional format. Over here, also select Japan. Now if you don't see Japan over here, in that case, you can click on add a language and then you can install this Jap Japanese. Select it and then click on next and then install. And let it complete. Now once these are installed, then you can click on regional format make sure these are installed completely and then you can select the Japanese. Now over here also at the taskbar over here you can see English United States. You can select Japanese over here and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to you can use this command. So type in run in Windows search box and then click on run and then you can type in in T intl dot cpl and then click on ok now over here you can see format over here also you can select the japanese now once you select japanese over here hit apply make sure that you hit apply and then click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse global files it will take you to the game installation folder now scroll down here you can see the game exe file Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can go to properties once again. This time select this option, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can do the same thing with this exe file and then check now when you put a check on all, all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok do the same thing with this exe file and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so open the game folder and then scroll down find the game exe file click on add once the game is added scroll down and find the game once you see the game over here now here you can see gpu preference select set it to high performance and you will see your graphic card over here so select high performance now you can launch the game and then check Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to previous in security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add and allow app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder and then again select the game exe file. Click on open. Again click on add and allow app browse all apps. Select the second exe file and then click on open. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to clear download cache. Now for this you can go to Steam and then click on settings and then go to downloads and over here you can see clear cache option click on clear cache and confirm it once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working then verify the game files so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files now before you rename or delete the save game file create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch 
So if you agree, you can open File Explorer, then go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open your username folder, now open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, then open App Data folder, open the Roaming folder. Over here you can see the Game folder. So create a backup. So copy this folder and maybe you can just paste it to the desktop. I already have a backup. So once you have a backup over here, now you can rename this folder. You can rename it or delete it, but you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. But anyway, you have a backup. So whenever you want, you can put the original folder back. So once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users can go to AMD website. First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer, go to AMD website, select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then again restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, then again go to properties. This time you can type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected which you're not using. If you have extra controller connected, sometimes we have extra dongle USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, you can just close all the third party application and services. Also, if you've undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to disable the Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to gen uh, general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. Now if you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. Now if you have NVIDIA app running, then you can go to settings in NVIDIA app and then turn off this NVIDIA overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner running, Revert Unit running, close it. Install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Install this Visual Studios file. Now over here you can see x86 and x64 file. You have to install both the files, x86 and x64. So click on it, run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you can close these windows and then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. This is important. So open windows settings, go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Uh, right now, the latest version is WINVER WinVer. So in my case, the latest version is version 2 for H2. So update your Windows to the latest version and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box. 
and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the system BIOS after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode or borderless mode. Uh, for black screen, if you're facing black screen, you can just try borderless mode, switch to window mode and lower down graphic settings. So if everything's set to ultra or high, you can set it to medium and then check. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like E drive or F drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.